people may think that if they don't have any bleeding from the anus, that means they don't have piles or they don't have any anal disease. But this is absolutely not true because piles are not always bleeding. They may reflect themselves in the form of a prolapsing or projecting out mass. They may give rise to pain. They might give rise to discharge, sense of heaviness, itching, pain while walking or standing for a long time. Similarly, fissure may give rise to pain, bleeding, itching. You may have a lump inside which is containing pus, which is again painful, which may lead to fever, burning in urination or it will be very painful while passing stool or you may be not, not be able to sit properly or drive a vehicle. So never think that if you don't have any bleeding from your anus, that means you don't have any anal disorders. They can present with different type of symptoms and presentations. Many people are shy about going to doctor for their anorectal disorders just because they feel very embarrassing to get themselves examined, especially for females and youngster of both the sexes. They may think that why not the doctor diagnose and treat them by hearing their symptoms or they will write what they have and he will make a diagnosis or they might send some photographs from their mobile to the doctor and would seek his opinion and treatment accordingly. But this is not very prudent because there are so many diseases which do not have any outer telltale signs or they don't have any specific symptoms or a particular presentation so as to clinch an accurate diagnosis. So many a disease they are inside the anal canal and unless until you put your finger and you see inside with various type of scopes it is very difficult to make a correct diagnosis. On the other hand, there are so many disorders which are present outside. They look very severe and uh, quite uh, advanced. But if you examine them from inside, there is absolutely nothing. Similarly, diseases from the adjoining part of the anus, like the bones, like the genitalia, like the backbone or skin, they may have some disorder, some disease, which may be very close to the anus, which may be having symptoms looking like, feeling like anal diseases, but they have no relationship with the anal canal. So it is always better that let the doctor examine you, keep you comfortable while examine and make a correct diagnosis with the help of his history, clinical examination, various type of scopies and if needed some specialized investigation. And I don't think there should be any hitch to get yourself examined because if you have a disease you should be able to get yourself diagnosed in a correct fashion in an orderly manner so that you can be treated well perfectly and permanently and there is no harm or no feeling of shy because if you will be surprised to know that almost 40% of the population is suffering from some or other symptoms of anal region. So 
it's just a very common diseases and it doesn't reflects to your sins your bad habits or your lifestyle so it's always better that once you have felt something in your anus or you are having some anal problems consult your doctor freely frankly and he will be in a good position to give you a correct diagnosis and at the appropriate and best treatment i would like to just highlight few other myths about the anal disorder the f- very first is that people ask this disease can occur just because they are sitting for a pretty long time so that is not true because in today's era where millions of people are sitting in front of their computers or at the work desk for hours together but they don't all suffer from this disease so if your posture is wrong if you are sitting in a way that you are putting more pressure on the blood vessels inside your anus which may get swollen up weakened can lead to hemorrhoids but otherwise prolonged sitting has no direct role with occurrence of hemorrhoids or piles another thing which people think is is it necessary that every piles must bleed so no there are piles in your anal canal for years together without giving rise to any bleeding but they may pose symptoms of heaviness or some discharge some discomfort prolapse without producing any bleeding so bleeding is not the very classical symptoms of hemorrhoid it is present in most of the hemorrhoid but hemorrhoids can occur without causing any bleeding another misconception is that if we go to the doctor and if he examine he will give us more pain and we will be more uncomfortable but that is also not correct because the doctor will first inspect the area and if he feels that you have got a painful anal pathology by your history and your body language he will not touch or put his finger inside he will just inspect maybe he will ask you to strain a little so that he can get an idea as to what could be the possible reason of your excruciating pain so don't think that examining yourself by a doctor will always be uncomfortable because doctor knows which diseases can be very painful on examination and he will avoid or if he feel it necessary he will do it under anesthesia so that you won't feel any pain